So dry skin brushing, just to kind of explain some confusion, people might use a brush in the shower to exfoliate the skin uh, with soap and things. Obviously this is in the shower or the bath, so you're getting the skin wet. This is dry skin brushing, so this is using really quite a rough bristle brush on the skin. A lot of people are quite nervous, especially ladies I find, that, that they feel that the brush is actually too harsh. To be honest, you kind of get used to doing it and actually after a while it feels so nice because it actually feels like it's doing something rather than just cosmetic. And dry skin brushing is really good for circulation and what's really, really working on is it's stimulating your lymphatic system. Your lymph system doesn't actually have its own pump. If you think of your blood system, this is pumped by your heart muscle. Your lymphatic system actually has to move itself around by movement. So when you're moving around or doing exercise, and a one way of simulating it is through dry skin brushing. Um, I actually have a stick one here, which fits in the back, which means you can actually get to your back, particularly perhaps you're a little bit of a stiff person. Um, with dry skin brushing, what we're wanting to do is we're wanting to start on the soles of the feet. And I have quite a good technique for kind of making myself feel that I've done it enough. So what I like to do is I like to brush the, that area of the skin three times. So you do the soles of your feet three times, and then the next soles of the, of the other feet three times. And you work your way up the body, so the back of your calves three times, and you're working your way up the body. And actually in the handout notes, there is a really, really nice diagram about how to do this properly. You could also maybe go um, onto YouTube where they've got some good examples of people doing dry skin brushing. Um, and you want to do each part of your body three times. So when I was doing my arm, I might do that three times here, but also the underside of my arm three times as well. And you want to do this about once a day when the skin is dry then what I would do is then you step into the bath or the shower and afterwards you can always moisturise if the skin feels a little bit dry. But this helps to strengthen your immune system. Your lymphatic system is an aspect or a part of your immune system. Don't actually forget that. And your lymphatic system is basically getting rid of lots of waste in the body and helping to activate uh, components in the immune system. Um, so this is actually getting you much stronger and this can be done all year round, particularly I would say people that, that are more prone to feeling cold, um, they get cold hands and feet for example, this is great and I actually have a lot of clients who do this for about a week and really really start to notice that, that their circulation feels like it's improving, they're a lot less cold than they might have been. Um, so that's our first natural healing technique and we talk a lot about natural healing in the rest of the course and natural healing is basically things that you can do yourself at home that are very simple that help your body to get better. And apart from purchasing the skin brush, it's free to do every day after that. Um, and we'll talk about different techniques as the, as the course goes on. But that's dry, dry skin brushing. Um, a lot of ladies do it also because it can be helpful for, uh, for help bus busting cellulite, which can be a little bit annoying sometimes, particularly before going on holiday. But you do want to be doing it every day and doing it quite a few months in advance if you're wanting it to do it for cellulite.